Hi everybody, my name is Lena. I'm so glad you decided to do some yoga today. Let's get started. We'll start seated, so make sure you're comfortable any way you'd like to sit and bring your spine nice and tall. We'll bring one hand to the belly and one hand to the heart. Your shoulders can be relaxed here. Your eyes can be open or closed, you decide. And as you breathe in, feel your abdomen, your ribs and your chest expand, puff up like a balloon. And as you breathe out, feel everything release, letting all the lungs relax, the muscles in your chest relax. Inhale, puff up, expand. Exhale and release. Nice job. You can breathe through your nose or your mouth. You decide two more times. One more time. Release your arms. See if you can remember that deep breathing rhythm as we come up to stand. Step forward into mountain pose. It's sometimes called Tadasana. And the feet are turned forward. The legs are strong and we'll bring the palms open. You can look straight ahead. Feel the crown of your head reaching up towards the ceiling. As you breathe in, reach your arms all the way up. And as you breathe out, swan dive forward. You can bend your knees here and shake out your head. As you breathe in, lift up like a tabletop, just halfway. Your fingers can be on your shins or on the ground. As you breathe out, fold forward. Bend your knees, bring your hands down, and step back to plank pose. It looks like the top of a push-up. Your legs are strong. Instead of letting the bum relax down, feel really strong and lifted. Use your abdominal muscles. Push the ground away from you. Feel your arm muscles engage. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your elbows and lower down. You can certainly release to the knees if you like. Uncurl your toes. And bring your hands forward. Prop yourself up onto your elbows. This is called Sphinx Pose. You might remember that statue. It's in Egypt. Click your feet down. And roll your shoulders back and drag your chest forward. And then bring your chin down to your chest and roll your head from side to side. Just stretching out the neck. You've probably been sitting a lot today. And look forward, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, relax the head down. Bring your hands under your shoulders and push back. Big toes together, knees wide. Your hips come towards your heels. Arms are stretching forward as you relax your head down. This is called child's pose. Breathe deeply for three seconds. And press yourself up to hands and knees. Curl your toes under and jump forward. Nice job. And come back to that forward fold, shake out your head. This time bend your knees, reach back behind, interlace your fingers and let your arms come overhead. Nice stretch for the shoulders. You can keep your knees bent here or get a little bit more stretch in your legs. Release your arms, bend your knees and roll yourself up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, the head and neck come up last. Stretch your arms all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart and turn your palms open, Tadasana. Arms reach high, inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward. A little bit faster this time. Fingers come to your shins as you breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, hands come down. You can walk or jump to plank this time. Bend your elbows and lower all the way down. Sphinx pose, prop up onto your elbows, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, push back, child's pose. Just one breath here this time. Forehead is resting, breathe in. And breathe out. And push yourself up, hands and knees, jump forward. Lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold, bend your knees deeply and roll yourself up. 
The head and neck will come up last. Stretch your arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, exhale. Nice job. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Namaste.